Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to do in this video is show you a nice alternative launcher for the NVIDIA Shield that will allow you to see side-loaded apps on your home screen and also sort of help you with finding things faster. I do love the NVIDIA Shield, but what I don't like is the fact that you have to flip through so many things in order to find stuff once you have a number of apps. If you've only got about, you know, 16 or something like that, it's no big deal. But the two rows of apps does have its challenges after a while. It almost reminds me of an old Roku. So, here's what you do about it. In the Google Play Store, there's an official app for the Shield called TV Launcher 3. This is an app that you might have seen for the old, you know, for a lot of Android boxes. TV Launcher. Cool. Worked the first time. So, this is the one I'm talking about, TV Launcher by Awesome Development. It is free, as you see. And we're going to select it, and we're going to install it. Installs nice and fast. Look at that. Boom. Now you'll notice it says offers in app purchases, and I'll show you what they mean by that. So we're going to go ahead and open it, and when you first start off, this is the screen you get. Pretty basic. Just explaining what's going on. Alright, and we're done. You can skip it if you want, but I just want to flip through. And you see as it starts, it's kind of boring looking. It's real, it's totally blank. It's like a tabula rosa, blank slate. And what we're going to do here is we're going to fill it. I think maybe we'll just start with favorites, just start from right to left, but you can go anywhere you want. And of course you can put anything in any category. You can put, you know, word files and games if you really want to, but there are, those are prefab categories. You can also make your own. But we'll start off here in the menu and I'll just show you what this looks like. First of all, you can actually remove the ads. There are ads that appear from time to time. There's one. See that ad, find out who owns this number or just find who owns this number. That's not a ad in YouTube. That's actually an ad through the app. It's kind of like a, you know something you'd have on a tablet. So, if you want to get rid of that, you can remove the ads there. You can change the look of the thing. Light to dark. We'll go ahead with dark. You can manage the sections. Remember, I was showing you that games, utilities, media, and so on. You can actually create one if you like. We'll just, just show you that it can, in fact, be done. Let's see. We'll call it Ryan. Once you name it, you back out. Say save. We can give it a color. Make it green. Alright. And done. Okay. So now, when we go back out, see, there's, you know, there's Ryan. That's me. Okay, so, starting off, let's go ahead from the left, and here is where you're going to add an app. It looks kind of like when you add a widget into Android. You select, and then you've got your little marks here. So you got applications, shortcuts, and bookmarks. Mainly, you're going to be working about applications here. So, we're going to select an application. And what you see here is a group of apps that I've got on the shield. Some of them are regular old apps that you can get directly from the Google Play Store, and some of them are things that had to be sideloaded. For instance, let's see. Monsters. That's a uh, Monsters Legends. That's a game I play. I sideloaded it onto the system. See, I believe File Browser might have been a sideload. Chrome certainly is. APK Mirror, App 
Aptoid and Aptoid TV all side loaded. Use the um, ES File Explorer for that. And of course, once you have a browser like Firefox or Chrome, you can always sideload things, you know, by downloading them directly to the box. Otherwise, the rest of these are official apps. So let's just start adding things. And I'll show you a little bit more about what this can do. Showbox was something that someone just asked me, can you add it? So I saw. And you can, obviously. Plex, I think I might have put Plex already. Looks like we're adding all these to Ryan. Alright, let's see what we got here. Boop, 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 boop. Alright, let's see. I'll add a couple more. Let's add Netflix and Hulu. Alright, so the Ryan section, just like we set up, has all green blocks as a default. And you'll notice the official apps here have their own like nice artwork. The ones that aren't, apparently that was not the regular Amazon video app. Let's see. Ah, okay, yeah, this is the, the one you download otherwise. I'm going to remove that. because we've now got the regular one. There we go. Okay. So, okay, there we go. That makes more sense. See, that's the, uh, the thing. So, what you got here is a group of apps, some of them side-loaded, some of them original. Vivo is actually a, an app for the device. I don't know why it showed up that way. But, here's what we're gonna do. You can give all of these things different looks. I'll <laughs> put Plex on there twice. We'll take that out. Just to avoid confusion. So, once you have your apps set up in place, you see it's a much easier grid-based system. Plus, you can break things up. You can put, you know, like movie apps, TV apps, news. I mean, you can change these things to whatever you want. I'm not going to go through and exhaustively show you every single category broken down. But once we teach you how to do it once, I'm sure you can do it again and again and again because you're smart folks. So, you see that they're all green in the background. If you select them and hold down the select button, you have a chance to change things up using fan art. Now, not every single app has fan art. I think APK Mirror Beta, for instance, does not. Let's see. It doesn't. So you can give it its own personality a bit by changing the color background. And I like the black one. It looks pretty classy. See, it looks sleek. It doesn't. And now it doesn't kind of stand out with that sort of strange color. Cody, let's see what we got here. Alright. Got a lot of different looks. I like that one. Showbox. Oops. Hold the button down. You always have to remember to hold the button down. If you tap it, it just opens it, just so you know. do that. That's sort of the well-known look, isn't it? Vivo. Alright. Here's the classic Vivo. We'll go with that. Let's see. Pluto. Have any 
alternatives for Pluto? Do we have maybe the original looking Pluto thing? Looks like we don't. I'll just leave it as is. Any special looks for that? By the way, just so you know, you are not totally bound to whatever is on here. You can always create one. You just use your own art or, you know, pictures that you've downloaded. But apparently there's nothing special for Voodoo. Hulu looks like they've got at least one. I'll change that up. Looks sort of like the old Hulu on Cody. Netflix has a lot of options. And let's see if we can do anything with Amazon. Oops. Don't have anything available. Apparently not. We'll try one more time. Okay. So can't change everything up as you see but you can definitely give things a good look and like I said what I like about this is you know here's Ryan but you know you want to go into utilities and set up your utilities there's an Amazon shopping app I'm at the downloads section yes file Explorer Let's see if there's anything else that would make sense here I think that's a good start. Boom. Games. Boom. Boom. And then media, we can just add whatever. Yes, we do. Bang. SPMC is a fork of Cody. Pretty sure this has alternative tiles. There we are. Sometimes, obviously, it takes a minute for it to load. Oh, I like that. It looks like a George Perez cover or something. If you get that reference, you are most definitely a comic book geek. Like me. So, there we are. So, we got media, games, utilities, and Ryan. See how that makes it a bit easier to find things? Like you can, like I said, you can add other things, and you can change the names of these things if you want to. Favorites is still blank. Over here on the side, you've got a different way to search through things. You can just go up and down the list, and you can also filter. So this this allows you to search. So let's say you're just looking for Cody. Okay. Oh. Oh, there it is. See? Before we even got to the D. And done. So that is the TV launcher. I think it's a pretty snazzy little way to change things up. You can always leave it with this, and if you press the home button, it brings you back out to this screen. If you press back in the app, it brings you out of the app back to the, the launcher. But I hope you found this helpful. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty helpful. I think it's nice. So, 
If you like this video, please subscribe. Help us continue to help others. Help me help you. Yeah, I know. That's not my line. But this one is. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.